Ashley Schwan. Never heard of her? Well, she's got over half a million men paying to follow her on OnlyFans, but for one man, that wasn't enough. And, uh, well, he decided to pay her a visit, and this happened. Take a look. You know, I was talking to this guy. So sweet. You know, I'm talking to him going back and forth. And then one day, I log on, and he sent me photos outside of my backyard with a knife. Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> Ashley Schwann nearly became the real life Drew Barrymore in Scream 1. Now to find out more about this incident and who Ashley Schwann is, uh, be sure to stay tuned to this episode of Famous News. Also, if you're watching these videos on YouTube, uh, on TikTok, be sure to go over to our YouTube page because you subscribe there, then we get paid. TikTok still ain't paying us a cent. My God, what is this? This is my... Oh, no! You still didn't like me. You shot me. Yes, sir. The Number one! My calling is to be the leader of the free world. So Ashley Schwan, brand new name to me, never heard of her before, but she's actually Tana Mojo's gal pal and the two went to high school together back in Las Vegas. At least that's what I'm guessing from this interview. I checked out her YouTube channel, about 400,000 subscribers there, and the two were making videos back with one another in 2018. Now, like many a young 20-something girls these days, she made the move to Los Angeles. And, uh, well, she's been partying all with the influencers for the past couple of years. In fact, she was even at Tana Mojo's wedding to Jake Paul. Remember that? My God, the beginning of the pandemic. And it was a pandemic itself, right? I mean, who at that party didn't catch something? I'm guessing. Now, Ashley, she's broken out on her own as a bonafide party girl with a free OnlyFans account. It's free. Now, her latest sit down was with Barstool Only Stands podcast, which kind of reminds me of like uh, being a part of a casting couch video. Anyway, she talked about uh, her experience with stalkers and one dude, he actually took a picture of himself with a while in her backyard. He sent me photos outside of my backyard with a knife. So fucking scary. Also, another unsolicited dick pic. Like, I was like, after you send me a knife in my backyard. Send and then, you a knife in your backyard? A knife. Like, oh, I'm just like hiking today. And I'm like, that's my, I see my pool. Now that girl talks real fast, but she also mentioned something about a DP and uh, someone hiking. Now, uh, cruising her YouTube channel, it looks like at one point in time, she was living at the Cloud House. And that was as recent as last year. So who knows? Maybe uh, Rice Gum, he came back to, uh, to get his things and he decided to show off his Mr. Chow. <laughs> that's uh that's a hangover joke also maybe he had a knife maybe he didn't uh, no but did it feel good though allegedly i'm just making a joke here people or perhaps she's putting her life in danger on the daily by posting risque content to the internet i don't know which theory do you think is more likely the rice gum one or that there's a whole bunch of incels in la let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and uh, if you want to know more about this girl we could make it before they're famous you let us know and i'll see you guys in another video go